Hello, children of the Most High. How are you doing today? It's such an honor to appear on your screen on a weekly basis. I give God all the glory. I do not take it for granted. And I know you've been learning one or two things from these sessions. The Lord will continue to keep you. The Lord will continue to keep all of us together by His grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray. Father, we just want to thank you once again. We thank you for your children. I give you all the glory for my life, for all of our family members. We thank you for keeping us tonight. We thank you for bringing us to your presence to learn at your feet. We say accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. As we go on into today's lesson, Holy Spirit of God, be with us. Teach us your word and let your name alone be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. We bless you, O oh God. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers and ended with prayers. Prayer is the master key. Hallelujah. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. It's the master key started with prayer and ended with prayers. Prayer is the master key. Thank you, my friends, for joining me in singing that song. God bless you. Last week, we talked about something very, very interesting. Who can remind us about the topic we talked about last week? Okay, thank you. Jesus turned water into wine. And when we were talking about this topic last week, we said for us to actually get support from Jesus, we need to ask him. And how do we ask him? By simply praying. So today we want to talk about prayer. What is prayer? That is the title of today's Sunday School. What is prayer? I know some of my friends will be thinking and asking this question. What exactly is prayer? Why do we even need to pray? How do we even pray? We are going to try and answer all of these questions to me today. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will help us in Jesus' name. We are going to take our Bible text from the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13. Our text shall be taken from the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13. And our memory verse will be taken from the book of Philippians 4, verse 6. And it says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. Did you get the memory verse? Try and think about it. I might ask you to recite the memory verse for me. So you can get your Bible and try to commit it into your mind. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Start to think about it. So let's go into our text for the day. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 to 13. Read with me. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. When we talk about prayer, prayer is simply a communication between God and man. God wants us to communicate with them. You can imagine not hearing from your friends, your best friend. Not hearing from your best friend for like one week, two weeks, and three weeks. You're going to get worried. So as God is our friend, he wants us to have a relationship with him. And how can you say, oh, God is my friend, God is my friend, and you don't even talk to him? What kind of friend would you be? So prayer is actually a way of showing your commitment to this friendship that you have with God. Prayer is one of the ways for you to show how close you are to God. If you know that God is your friend, you must be able to talk to him on a regular basis. And that is why mommy and daddy tell us to pray in the morning, pray in the afternoon, pray at night, pray every time. Because it's like you're talking to your friend every now and then. So always remember that prayer is a way to talk to God. Prayer is a way to communicate with your friend, with your heavenly father. And God is always happy when we call on him. When you pray to God, he is always happy. And then you know by the time you pray unto God, you are telling him to come into your situation. You are telling God that, oh God, I can't handle this situation myself. I need you to come and help me. So prayer is a cry for heavenly help. What did I say? Prayer is a cry for heavenly help. You are telling God, come into my situation. I am helpless. So, the question now is, why do we pray? Mommy tells me in the morning, mommy tells me every time to pray. Why do I have to pray? Why do we pray? We pray for different reasons. In fact, if we start to name the reasons why we pray, we can't even finish it. So, we have different reasons why we pray. When you go to the next verse, to our memory verse, our memory verse is from the book of Philippians 4, verse 6. If you go to verse 7, verse 6 is telling us to be careful for nothing. Don't think about anything. Just pray, thank God, and hold your peace. So when you read verse 7 of Philippians chapter 4, let me read verse 7 for you. You want to read verse 7 of Philippians chapter 4. That's what happens when you pray. Remember, we are talking about why do we pray. Listen to this. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The peace of God that passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts through Christ Jesus. So when you pray, you invite the peace of God into your heart. And guess what? You cannot buy the gift of the, the peace of God with any money. No matter how rich a person is, you cannot buy the peace peace of God. And that is what prayer gives you. Prayer gives you peace in your heart. Prayer gives you rest in your heart. 
you are not worried when you pray. And that was why verse 6 told us, our memory verse told us, to be careful for nothing but by prayer and supplication. Just talk to God by prayer. And when you talk to him, he gives you peace. And when you have peace, you are not thinking about what is happening around you. Let me give you this example. Two examples, actually, why you think, why you, you really need to pray. The first one, when I first came to Canada, I was praying in my room that time. And I was just laying on my bed. I was praying and I saw this bright light in front of me. Very bright light. And do you know God actually is full of light? So that light in my room that time told me that God actually visited me. The light was really, really shining in front of my face. Second example of why you need to pray. When you pray, you have confidence. You have peace in your heart. Second example, I worked with this set of people. And there was a time everybody was so worried. They were so scared. They were so afraid of a particular person at my office. And every morning when I got to the office, I just do my thing. I don't worry about anything. I don't get scared. I don't get worried for anything. I maintained my peace. So one day, one of my colleagues came to me and said, Modupe, why are you not worried like everybody? You are not even scared of this particular person. I'm like, why should I be worried? Why should I be bothered? I'm a child of God. I don't, I don't get worried for no reason because I know my God is always with me. That's what happens when you pray. When you pray, you have confidence in God. When you pray, you have peace of God in your heart. And this peace of God is something some people are trying to get. But their money cannot get it for them. Their fame cannot get it for them. Some people are even celebrating but they don't have the peace of God. So they are still worried. So when you pray, you call on the peace of God to come into your heart. The second reason why you need to pray is you are praying because you want to maintain your relationship with God. You can say, like I said, you can say God is your friend when you don't talk to him every time. If I'm your best friend, you want to call me. If you have anything going on in your life, I want to be the first person you're going to call. So if you say God is your best friend, if something is going on in your life, the first person you should call is your best friend in heaven, which is God. So the second reason why we pray is because we want to have a good relationship with God. We want to keep God as our BFF, like, like we used to say, my BFF. So if you want to make God your BFF, you have to be ready to pray unto him, to ask him for anything and everything. Right? Yes. You want to open up to God. You don't want to hide anything or from him. You don't want to hide anything from God. Now, the next question is, how do we pray? I love this particular question. How do we pray? One of my, you know, teenage friends came to me and it was like, I don't even know how to pray. I feel like I'm not praying the way I'm supposed to pray. No. No. We have an example that Jesus gave his disciples in the Bible. And that's our memory verse. That, sorry, that's our text. The Lord's Prayer. 
we have the Lord's Prayer as a sample of how we should pray. Although we don't usually say the Lord's Prayer when we pray now, but actually we pray in line of what we have in the Lord's Prayer. So three steps you have to actually keep in mind. And this is based on what is written in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 to 13. If you go to the book of Matthew chapter 6 9 to 13 and you see the sample that Jesus gave us. If you follow that sample, you will see that the first thing Jesus did was to give thanks to God. So at any point in time, if you want to pray, make sure you start by giving thanks to God. That should be the first thing you're going to do. And if you also follow those Bible verses, you will see that Jesus asked for forgiveness of sins. So when you pray, after you give thanks to God, make sure you ask for forgiveness of sin. Because the Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short, the glory of God. So we have to always ask God to forgive us. If we have messed up in any way, if we have said any bad word, if we have done any bad thing, we need to be able to come out to God and ask him to forgive us when we pray. Because God is too holy. His eyes cannot see any sin. So when you have thanked God, go ahead and ask him to forgive you all your sins. And then after asking for the forgiveness of sin, you can then start to tell him your request. So I have T F R. T means thanksgiving. Remember to give thanks to God when you pray. Okay? Number two, remember to ask for the forgiveness of sin. So that's F. And the R is to make your request known to God. Tell him what you want him to do for you. That's your request. Tell him what you want God to do for you. So give thanks to God. Ask him to forgive you and then tell him your request. It's as simple as that. And you can pray anytime. In case you are asking, oh, do I only have to pray in the morning? Do I only have to pray when I go to bed at night? No. You can talk to your BFF anytime. God is my BFF. He's your best friend. So you can talk to him anytime. When you wake up in the morning, call on his name. When you're going out in the morning, call on his name. When you are even at school, call on his name. When you come back home, call on his name. Before you go to bed at night, call on the name of Jesus. And he's always there to help you. So you can pray anytime, any hour, any day. Jesus is always there to help and support you. Praise ye the Lord. Is that not amazing? For you to have that understanding that there is a God that is always beside you, listening to your words. You don't have to kneel down. You don't have to take any position. If you want to go on your knee, fine. If you want to stand up, fine. You want to lay on the bed, fine. But just make sure you are communicating with them. You are talking with them. He loves to hear your voice. Praise ye the Lord. So today I have this homework for you, for my older audience. If you can write, I want you to get a notebook. Always write your prayers down. And when God answers those prayers, take them, give them a check mark and say, Oh God, I thank you. You have answered this prayer for me. Always keep a journal, a prayer journal. When you want to do something, when you want God to do something for you, write your request down 
on your prayer journal and when God answers your prayer, check it off and give him thanks. When you are able to see all of the prayers God has answered for you, you are able to thank him more and appreciate him more. The Lord will help you. The Lord will give you the power of prayers. And as you pray unto God, he will answer you. As I pray unto God, he will answer me. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we just want to thank you today. We thank you this morning for answering our prayers. We thank you because you are such a faithful father. You said in your word that we should ask. We should be careful for nothing. Daddy, we pray no matter what is going on around us, oh God, we will not think about anything, but we will pray unto you. And as we pray unto you, your peace that passes all understanding, we come into our hearts and give us, oh Lord God, joy in our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, I cover your children with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself. We cover all our mommies and daddies with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, most high Father. Glory be to your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Were you blessed? I was blessed. I'm going to start to pray more. And as I pray more, I'm going to receive the peace of God. So shall it be for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. The Lord bless you. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Bye.